Hello friends. So this is a new topic that we want to discuss and share with all of you. That is Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation. Now the topic came in news last year. It was in news, it was in discussion, especially related to Indian Ocean. Right? First of all, we are going to discuss what is this overturning circulation right then we'll see what why is it in use we'll see the reason for the slowing down of the circulation and also discuss the caption that that news which was mentioned in the hindu and the indian express last year 2019 uh, november 2019 and also the article that is Indian Ocean helping Atlantic Ocean. So let's let's come back to this discussion and let's try to understand right from the basics of the topic. See to understand this entire phenomena of meridional circulation, let us try to understand what are thermohaline circulations. Right? Thermohaline. See the word thermohaline means it's temperature. Thermo means temperature. Haline is salinity. Right? So related to temperature and salinity. So the circulations caused by the temperature and salinity are called as thermohaline circulations. What exactly is this thermohaline circulation? And then we'll go to Atlantic Ocean and what is a phenomena of such. I'll use a simple example. Let's imagine a huge tub of water. Let us imagine a huge tub of water as a metaphor for any ocean. And suppose this is the latitude with a higher temperature. And this is the latitude with a lesser temperature. Like suppose it's 60 degree latitudes north and south. And this is suppose 0 degree latitude which is close to equator. Now the oceanic circulations, ocean currents carry warm water towards subpolar latitudes right because the re the simple reason is on the surface the temperature is higher so water expands warm water expands whereas the cold water up till you know the, the 4 degrees celsius shows the normal behavior that means if you decrease the temperature the density increases right after if the temperature reduces less than 4 degrees Celsius, the water shows anomalous behavior. Here in this case, what is happening? The temperature goes towards subpolar, uh, water goes towards subpolar areas and by the time it reaches to the 60 degree belt, it becomes colder. Moreover, it also carries salt water towards north. It's after the, after all the salt water that is carrying towards north. So the salinity in this region increases salinity of subpolar latitudes increases this also increases the density now the reason for the increase of density yes what is the reason for the increase of density number one is decrease in temperature I'm writing it here decrease in temperature Number two, increase in salinity. Number two, increase in salinity. So with the increase in salinity, because the water goes towards the subpolar areas, temperature decreases, it also carries the salt water. This salt water, because it gets denser now, sinks. Right? It sinks to the lower levels. So the salt water or I'll write 
dense water we know that density has increased due to these factors so it sinks to the deeper levels it can be 100 it can be like thousands of meters below the surface so it sinks to the thousand meters below the surface and resurfaces somewhere in the lower latitudes so there's a massive circulation going on under the surface in all the oceans because of the two reasons one is temperature another is salinity decrease in temperature increase of salt increases the density of water it sinks to the lower level and comes back from the lower latitudes now if you observe this phenomena this is a basic understanding of this thermohaline circulation let's come back to the Atlantic Ocean what happens in Atlantic Ocean is this warm water warm water reaches to the polar regions, subpolar regions it's a phenomenon that has been going on for years and years because of prevailing winds because of temperature difference because of so many other factors by the time this water reaches in the upper latitudes in the higher latitudes like somewhere subpolar regions right it's denser right it's denser and therefore it sinks and takes a kind of u-turn below the surface below the surface and the one that I'm drawing with the black is cold deeper water and where this part is warm surface water warm surface water so it, it, it sinks to the lower levels this is dense salt water and resurfaces from the region of lower latitudes and induces that this increases the movement of water so the, the sinking this thermohaline circulations reinforces ocean current movement towards north what is the benefit of this what is the benefit of this this entire phenomena you see the warm water reaches to subpolar areas so temperature increases right rather it moderates the condition especially during winters moderates winters so the moderation that takes place in the northern areas the moderation that takes place in European climate especially is caused by these warm oceanic circulations which is quite beneficial for European regions okay now why are we discussing this see what has been observed that the this entire circulation that we have discussed so far there has been a slowdown slowdown in Atlantic meridional overturning circulation so this circulation is called as overturning circulation there has been slowdown it was observed for the last 15 years it has shown slowdown if we go in the past in the history around 17,000 years ago 17,000 years ago the similar slowdown was observed similar pattern was observed what what will happen with the slowdown suppose the movement of this surface water is less right it is less so what is going to happen this moderate conditions will not take place because the warm water will not reach to European coast if the warm water doesn't reach to the European coast what is going to happen then harsh winters very harsh winters in European regions right because there won't be any moderation effect now in order to uh, relate this why try to understand why is it happening let's see that reason 
and you know these days anything any abnormalities can be accounted to climate change global warming now what is happening due to global warming right global warming right this global warming is increasing the temperature that we know and therefore leading to development of frequent low pressure in atlantic ocean so there is frequent low pressure conditions developed over atlantic ocean because the temperature is high and low pressure now this low pressure leads to the form to the rainfall right it leads to the heavy rainfall this heavy rainfall reduces salinity right it reduces salinity now if the salinity of the water decreases so therefore the density of water also increases uh, beg your pardon density of the water also decreases right so if the density decreases here in this case density is less why is it less is relate this why is it less is because rainfall is taking place what happens with the rainfall fresh water addition takes place salinity decreases and therefore density decreases if the density is less this overturning circulation declines that means the water doesn't sink at the same rate the thermohaline circulation that we discussed some time back they do not sink at the same rate thereby reducing right reducing the impact of all this making it slowing uh, slower process so what was the reason for the slowdown i hope it is clear what is the what was the reason for the slowdown the reason is increase in temperature in the oceanic surfaces like the atlantic ocean leading to higher precipitation decrease in salinity decrease in density and slowing down of the entire process because density plays a very significant role in enriching a kind of reinforcing the oceanic circulations right why was it in news recently recently in indian ocean right let's see this part what has happened the temperature of indian ocean is increasing too this region temperature is increasing so due to increase in temperature again the low pressure is being formed now this low pressure attracts winds from all the regions including atlantic ocean so moisture from the atlantic ocean is moving towards indian ocean which is dangerous for indian ocean of course because there are frequent cyclonic formations there it it attracts winds see heating of indian ocean is very frequent very very intense it's a smaller ocean heating is faster you know global warming is also showing impact here so this abnormal increase of temperature leading to abnormal low pressure conditions attract winds right so all the air moisture from atlantic ocean goes towards indian ocean so what is happening on the atlantic ocean let's see the effect of atlantic uh, on the atlantic ocean if this is moving towards if the moisture goes towards the indian ocean rainfall decrease uh, rainfall reduces why because the moisture is moving towards other areas rainfall decreases if rainfall decreases this means the fresh water addition also reduces so what will happen because of that the salinity increases because the fresh water addition is less if the salinity is increasing what will happen the density of water will be slightly higher so if the density of water is increasing the same circulation 
which we were discussing the overturning circulation can this overturning circulations can get reinforced so the slowdown that was happening because of global warming because of uh, you know more rain in atlantic ocean now has been seen that the slowing down has got delayed why because the rain that moisture comes towards indian ocean it, it travels towards indian ocean and so here less rainfall has led to increase in salinity increase in density so atlantic ocean um, you know in the, the, the overturn circulation is is getting reinforced again so this is how indian ocean is helping the delay of slowdown of this atlantic meridional overturning circulations right we are try to make topics simple and uh, we do not use much technology and all this sci-fi things trying to keep it simple and so that it helps in your imagination to improve because it's your imagination which is required i believe yes technology is very useful right it plays a very significant role but the human imagination human intellect should not get paralyzed by using technology i hope it is clear if you have any kind of doubts please write to us we'll be there to help you and all of you those who are preparing for prelims this year keep studying keep working hard the first attempt is the best attempt to clear to crack right you should treat you should leave no stone unturned and those who are in the second or third or fourth attempt or even the last attempt don't worry treat this attempt as a first attempt best of luck for your preparations we'll see you in other videos